Good afternoon, everybody. Today is an exhilarating day because we're tired. Sarah, what time do we go to sleep? Three. Thanks to a certain friend of ours named Katie, we it was all of our faults. We didn't go to sleep till like three something, and then I, we got up and got to work. But we're going back out, meeting up with Jill and James, and I think Katie and Dustin might meet up with us. But we got a cool package. Let me get it. So thank you so much for the card, Greg, Brandy, and Holly. You guys are too nice. Look, they sent us this magazine about North Carolina. And these, I've already opened up in the car. They're from Charlotte, North Carolina. Reed's Fine Foods, hot cheddar cheese straws. Sarah described them perfectly. It's like the same kind of cheese and consistency and flavor when you like accidentally melt cheese on a plate or something in the microwave and you pull it, yeah, nachos, but it's like the crusty cheese. This, we're gonna literally, we have got chicken in the fridge we're gonna cook this with. Two of these, don't know what this is, but it looks good. Chair wine. These things are life, and it gets better. Got another new coffee to add to my collection, rich ground coffee, crispy cream. They're actually building one near us that should be opening up in the next four months. Um, another chair, cheer wine. One for Sarah, one for me. I can't wait to try this. I might try that like this week. And I love pecans. Don't know if you knew that, but from Young Plantations, a Carolina tradition, praline pecans. I already opened this and started eating it. This may be finished tonight. So, in conclusion, you are too kind. You did not have to do that. But that was super cool. Like That means like we've already gotten stuff from um, the Boston area and now the Carolinas. And that's like, it's cool to like, see the little bits of culture like in the, in the marketing, like even like we've gotten pamphlets before from other parts of the country. It's just fun to like, since we aren't going to those places right now to, to learn a little bit about those places, right? She's getting ready. We gotta eat and go because we gotta go have fun, even though I could fall asleep right now. Ooh, ooh, look at that gondola. Structure. That's not a gondola. <laughs> it's a gondola structure. And there's another one right there. And this one. And more that way. Did we say what we were doing tonight? If you couldn't tell. By this tram and that. I'm convinced we legitimately jinx this place of <laughs> of joy right here. We literally came in here like, what, like three weeks ago when Sarah was like, this is, this is the last place, this is one of the last few places that truly smells like her childhood vacation. Literally like two days later, Tyler's like, did you guys hear the news? Sweet Spells is closing. They're gonna close it and gut all of this. And it's supposed to still be a merchandise. Oh, uh, Toy Story merchandise. But all of this is gonna be gone. Like, where are they gonna make the sweet treats here now? Like a Hollywood studio staple, which like we never knew. I might have gotten it like once. Let's take this all home. Like Maleficent, let's take all those decorations up there. Let's take them all. interrupting that little sequence just to let you know like it's super empty here like, there's, there's the weather not, is like the best the sun's setting there's a cool breeze so we literally are not doing anything right now we have a fast pass that goes out in like 30 minutes friends, but it's right over there a little old our friends aren't here yet so it's just right over there so we're just we're just enjoying it so back to our little sequence
We got a fast pass for Tower Terror. Uh, Katie and Dustin, just letting you know, super not okay that you bailed on us. No, it's Highly it's offended. We're bugging them till 3 a.m. <laughs> no, yeah, it's really okay. One thing any of you want to know about Sarah and I is we are like the most laid back friends ever. So it's quite alright. Joel and James are still coming, right? Yep. Is James? Yeah, Joel and James are still meeting up with us, but they're not big fans of Tower Terror, so we're going to go hop on that before they show up. Tower of Terror. Ooh. Those are nice. All the different icons of studios. I dig it. I dig it, I dig I dig it. it too. But I will say that was a really good Tower of Terror. Yeah. It makes me almost want to go on it again. But. Maybe Jill will watch it. I can't believe the sun's salt. Like, I feel this. Because we got here so early. You know, and when it opened up and it was daylight, I was like, whoa! Yeah, what's going you on? could see the Slinky Dog roller coaster so yeah. well the whole track. Even me from with my poor vision could see it. Like, yeah. It was like the color. It was it's gonna be so good. Okay, look how empty it is over here. And look who we ran into Jill and James. They're running the, the 5K with me tomorrow downtown. Run, walk. Run, walk, crawl. Whatever it is, it's gonna be a good time. Skip. I like skip. I like skip. I might skip it. But this park is empty. We're gonna see how long Star Tours is standby. I don't even know if we're gonna do Fantasmic or nothing. Is it 10 minutes? Is it 10 minutes? It's 10 minutes. Are we doing it? Okay. I don't know if I've ever been in here. I don't know if I've ever been in here with this empty. Emergency fuel vent. Look at that. It's so empty we got to pick our own row. So I picked row one. Rebel Spy. Cheesiest joke ever. Star Tours 1401, you are cleared for departure. Initiate takeoff sequence. What? Auto takeoff sequence initiated. Auto D2, what's going on here? We are not ready for takeoff. The captain isn't on board yet. We need a proper pilot. So, what happens when we go to the park with people that we don't go to the park with every single day, like Jill? We meet Ola! And we've actually never met Olaf, but it's a 10 minute wait right now because this park is empty. So we're going to get some warm hugs. The best day of my life. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, this is the best day ever. I need a big warm hug. This is what I need. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, let me do this. I know I keep saying it, but if this is any indication of how slow it is at Hollywood Studios, it's like 8 o'clock right now. There's nobody going, nothing going on. Nothing going on. Toy Story Mania, 20 minutes. It is a 20 minute standby wait right now. I think we have to. Not only is it, it changed from 20 minutes to 15 minutes, but we're going into like the other entrance because that entrance is closed because they're in the, in the process of like switching entryways. So you're gonna eventually, this is all different. This is weird, it smells like construction and paint. But they're gonna, you're gonna enter from Toy Story Land once this is over and Toy Story Land is open. This is more of a 50-50 between me and Sarah. So we'll see. It depends on who gets the most tired because it's really that last one that It's game changer. Oh my god. I won the first two rounds. Sarah beat me in the third. Brought me, but like, caught back up. Yes! In points and accuracy. Oh, 
Did I get best in vehicle? Did I beat James? Yes! I got best in vehicle. Good game. I'm like, I feel right. If we said we sat on the wrong side. Yeah, I usually sit on the left. And I'm usually on the other side. I feel like my screen was loose, and I'm saying it's an excuse. Excuses. You never give up. Never. Never do that. This is what you call an empty 20 minute wait standby for rock and roller coaster, but we actually had fast pass for fast passes for it, but I don't know how uh, how useful they're gonna be. We did just see a crowd of like 30 kids get out of the exit and run to the front to get in before. Because we're literally it's like 8.59 right now, so the park's like closed. Phantasmic is almost over. Star Wars Galactic Spectacular is about to start. So even let us watch the thing. They literally just rushed us through because the park is closed. The food ways are jammed to get out of Keep your head against the headrest. Just keep it right here on Ellen's Classic Live Station. Okay, much rock for one hand. How does that feel? Too much rock for one hand. Walmart and it's weird so we the Walmart that we go to is new and it's in a super tourist area but it's weird because even just like how the parks were empty our Walmart's empty because there's no tourists here yeah. have you noticed that yeah it's like extra quiet usually right now at like 9 30 9 40 it's like, it's like loaded it's super cars? loud um not today cool that's like 20 minutes yeah. look at this we got a full cart full cart did drop more than 100 bucks but hey what are you gonna do but no, we'll be good for like two weeks after this, probably. Hopefully. Probably. And right, here we go. I'm getting all ready for tomorrow. I'm leaving work early to go down downtown Orlando to do the IOC Corporate 5K, which apparently is like a big thing. It's one of like the bigger runs because it's a 5K in Orlando, and it's the Insurance Office of America, and it's like every big company, like every company, doesn't matter how big or small, in Orlando does it. Like our friend Jill's doing with her work. I'm doing with my work. Um, I had to get new shoelaces because I snapped one of my shoelaces off my running shoes. I just want to point out how like grubby these shoes look because I've had these for four years? Five years? Four years. Four years. But the shoelaces being brand spanking new just like add an extra shade to these shoes. But their shoes are still good. Like they still do me good. They're a little worn but the heels are still good. Nothing's flapping off or nothing. Looking good so I'm all ready. But a good friend of ours Set us up with a digital code. Cole, you're my hero. To the greatest showman. Confession for the fourth time about the same thing. We stayed up way too late last night, right? Like 3 a.m. Like 3 a.m. And getting up at 6 a.m. It was more like oh, 7. Yeah. More like 7. I usually leave at 7. I woke up at 7. So we're still exhausted, we should go to bed, but we're gonna be the Brookhart Project. So we're gonna restart The Greatest Showman and probably fall asleep on the couch and chairs, but we're gonna just prepare and anticipate falling asleep. So I think we're just gonna sign off now and if we sign off again in like two, an hour and a half, we'll sign off again. Don't mind the, the little bit of mess on the table. Yeah, we were getting stuff from the groceries and setting and the box out. box out, yeah. It's good to be home. This is the worst angle of me ever. There you go. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>